Hey, I said Jay, we're back again. Well, oh, I want to update the wheels. Here are the wheels I told you about that pinstripe when I put on them. You can see how it wraps all around. So at night, dig, it's pretty bright. And in the day, you still can see it. And uh, it showed you how to put them on the tire. I did some of them right. Some of them I had the rotation the wrong way, but hey, they're on there. And they're reflected. He sees his concourse there. You can rotate the tire and yeah, so uh, you'll see more uh, you, the rest of the striping obviously is what I'm trying to say as it goes around this on both sides of the tire that side as you can see there's a bit there's a concourse down there it's pretty nice I like it that side it's nice anyhow that's for the update on those pinstripe and thingies. Anyhow, so I was looking at my coolant level and it was low. No, well, it was lower than low. It wasn't even pretty far down there. So obviously whoever had a spike in 2008 didn't bother with that. Or the service people didn't bother with that. So whoever serviced him. I thought, well, I put it in there. I was hoping there was like a little funnel that you could reach down there and you know undo it like a spigot would come up. There wasn't. So gosh darn, you had to take the whole damn side apart of the, of the bike here. And I did that. It took me about I don't know, 20 minutes. It wasn't that difficult. The worst one is getting this little if I can get it up here. This little pop buttons right over here. My finger is out. I did get that out and the thing sprung somewhere else. So if I can't find that, I got to get another one. But all the rest are screws. Um, so let's look at this coolant thing here. There's a, it's actually on screws. You get them skit there on a screw as a cap. And then you can see where it says, right there's where it's supposed to be. So if you have yours and you see it's not right there, there there's actually a full F and L on here. That's what the side looks like. Mine wasn't even there, so I had to pull that off. Now I gotta do the air filter system here. Who knows when that was changed? Probably never. The air filter a little more complicated. You gotta, where are we at? My finger. You gotta take that out, loosen that screw there, take all these relays off, all them off. Then you, then you turn it upward, and then you can access the air filter. So hopefully there's no surprises there. Oh, then you got to here's the air, air filter here. You got to take them two screws out and then pull the air filter out. Anyhow, so I'll, I'll get you an update, another video here uh, when I'm that far. Anyhow, this is Ed J working on the Kawasaki Concourse 14. Talk to you later.